Well, it's uh, 7.30 and we're in the park. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day weather-wise. Yeah. Wish we had to smell the vision because it's definitely part of the experience. We're in Yellowstone, but in this video we're going to share some tips about visiting national parks in general. Yeah, sure, that would be helpful. Thank you so much. You Thank have a you. good day. We're kind of winging it. We don't have any set plans. We don't have a deadline to be anywhere. We're just kind of driving along. But we're uh, focused on the lower loop. And uh, from everything we've read and researched, they say you need a minimum of two days to really see the park. And we're going to be here for four days. So I'm hoping we're going to get uh, a good experience. There's a lot to see. So we're going to just take our time and try to see as much of this beautiful park as we can. Number one rule of Yellowstone is be patient. There's a lot of people in the park, there's a lot of animals in the park, traffic congestion is normal. So we're, uh, we're experiencing a bit of that now, but uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay, so that little backup wasn't because of uh, the junction to the lower loop. That was because of bison. Bison on the side of the road. It might have crossed too, because the traffic was stopped for a little bit. But when it's We're coming up on our first sighting of a geothermal thing. <laughs> right on the river. We're going to take a walk down. So this is uh, the first proof we've seen that uh, Yellowstone is actually is a volcano really. Sitting below the earth is uh, very hot lava and it heats the water and it bubbles up to the surface. They say one day the thing will erupt. I hope we're not here when it happens. Once you get to the National Park, head directly for the Visitor Center. <laughs> There's usually many of them, but as soon as you get to the Visitor Center, you can get your stamp. You can get a lot of information, familiarize yourself with the um, park itself. And there's always people, rangers many times, that are incredibly helpful. Uh, they're so knowledgeable. Some of them have been doing this for so long. They just know the park and inside and it. out. And they love to give they their information. It. So, But yeah. know what you want. I mean, do you just want to drive around the scenic route? Or do you want to hike? And if you want to hike, do you want an aggressive hike or an easy hike? Do you want one with a reward at the end? Like, know what you want. Mm -hmm. um, because they can help you better if you know what right. you want. Yeah, you can tell them that you know you don't want an aggressive hike, for instance, and they'll point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but we found them to be a wealth of information. Absolutely. And while you're at the visitor center, don't forget to get your stamp. Yeah, passport stamp. <laughs> now, this is the way I like to watch bison.
That was beautiful. Um, that's more bison than I've ever seen in one shot. They're just uh, wandering around Usually as if they own like, the place, I guess. You see one or two, but that was a hundred or so. Yeah. Fountain paint pots. Didn't water running along. It's scalding water. It's very hot. Yeah, at least you can see steam coming off of it. Please pointed out this is younger than me. This was formed in 1959 after an earthquake about 25 miles from here. One of the signs back there said that 20 people have died in this area by stepping off the broad boardwalk. Apparently there's a thin crust here and uh, you can fall through and you fall into boiling water and you die basically by being boiled to death. The last thing we wanted to mention about being prepared and to do in advance of coming to a national park is fill your gas tank because at some parks you'll be stuck in um, animal jams or just tr plain old traffic. A lot of the parks do have gas stations within them, but I'm sure that that comes with a premium. Yeah, they're, they're pretty pricey inside the park. But uh, so in, in Yellowstone, we, we found a uh, gas station next to Old Faithful. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but we didn't need the gas because we had filled up before going into the park. Which we recommend. Yeah. yeah. These little waterfalls coming out of the Grand Prismatic. Look at the colors. one of the most popular spots in uh, Yellowstone. It's pretty crowded here right now. So we're hiking to the Grand Prismatic Springs uh, viewpoint and on the way there we noticed that the, the steam coming off of the Grand Prismatic reflects the colors. I think that's very cool. The Grand Prismatic When you're packing for your day at the National Park, understand what the weather conditions are going to be at the mm -hmm. National Park. They can be very different from where you're staying. Mm -hmm. And change throughout the day. So if we have our vehicle with us, we usually have a raincoat and multiple layers. And we also um, pack sneakers and hiking shoes. As mentioned, we usually pack hiking boots and some sneakers. But I have seen some interesting shoes. Leave the flip-flops for the pool. <laughs> <laughs> they don't belong on hiking paths. No. Nope. They're We've cute. We've seen so many people wearing flip-flops <laughs> and, and tripping over things well, and slipping in them. Unbelievable. It's just not, it's not a good thing. And you know, you want to show off your pedicure, do it by the pool. Yep. <laughs> it just yeah. doesn't belong in the National Park. Yep. The flip-flops, Crocs are pushing it. We've seen heels. Yeah. yeah. And just, heels. just, you know, a lot of slides. Yeah. I, you know, why not wear some sneakers? Yeah. <laughs> at, at the very least. Yeah. This hardly makes any sense. I climbed all the way up here to see it from a different angle, and now I'm using binoculars to see it up close. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, 
Old Faithful will erupt from between one and a half to five minutes, during which time it will expel between 3,700 and 8,400 gallons of boiling water to a height of between 90 and 184 feet. And speaking of picnic areas, we highly recommend packing a picnic. National parks are not known for their food. No. <laughs> They have food, it's just not usually that great. Yeah. I mean, you might enjoy a beer or a snack or a cup of coffee or something, but picnic food is the best. Yeah. You pack a little some yeah. fruit. You pack a little food and yeah. have a little picnic and see a little bit different aspect of the park. And, and it's great for taking a break too because the national parks get pretty busy between 11 and 3. So somewhere around there when we run out of our patients, We'll find a little picnic area. We will take out a snack, enjoy some water, and just have a little bit of something. Yeah. Yeah. And it saves a oh, ton of money, too. But let me tell you, if you're going to come to a remote area and have a picnic, bear spray. You need your bear spray because they want your food. And it's just best to have it right there on your picnic table mm -hmm. in preparation for bear spray. Yellowstone is known for its wildlife. Mm -hmm. We've seen bear, we've seen oh, yeah. elk, Everything. don't feed them. Not he, even the little chipmunks right, or the little ground squirrels. Right, because they're just way squirrels. too friendly. Yeah. They're yeah. annoying, actually. Yeah. Well, they can't process human food very well. Um, you know, the fat and sugars that are in uh, you know, human food is just not good for these animals. They, they, they stop losing their fur and they get heavy and the, their predators just love a slow, fat chipmunk. I mean, and unfortunately with the bears, if they get used to human food, eventually they have to be put down because right. then they're considered a nuisance and then they go into the campgrounds and all of the right. restaurant areas looking for food. And it just becomes a very bad situation. So, you know, common sense, pack it in, pack it out. Yep. Take every apple core and wrapper with you because if it's left behind for the bears, it really does lead to trouble. Yep. And when that cute little chipmunk or ground squirrel comes up to you and begs you for food, acting all cute, you know, yeah. just know that you're not doing him a favor if you feed him. Right. Just love to jump in there and go swimming. It's inviting. <laughs> but no. Your excitement would be short lived, I'm sure. Right. Wish we had to smell the vision because it's definitely part of the experience. Uh, you walk through the steam and you can smell sulfur. It's not terrible, it's not really strong, but uh, it is part of the experience, I guess. Everybody's lining up to see the next eruption. So we figured that'd be a good time to go in the inn and check it out. Thank you. 
Must have been some fun working on the woodwork in this place. Today's our second day into Yellowstone. Uh, yesterday we spent the entire day uh, touring the lower loop. Today we're going to explore the upper loop. Yesterday we used this app, it's called Guide Along. It's fantastic. It, commentary about what's coming up and wh where you should go and what you should see. And it's kind of timed along with the pace of your driving. As something's approaching, the guy will start talking about what's there and what, whether or not it's worth seeing and all the things that are in that area. So it's, it's really a very, very detailed and it's worked out amazingly. So, so we're going to use it again today to do the upper loop. So how it works is you download the app and then you purchase the various sightseeing parks, tours that yeah. you want. Yeah. So we purchased the Yellowstone tour for I think it was $14.99. Well worth it. For 15 bucks, you get almost like a personal guided tour of the park. It told us stuff we would never have known otherwise. Right. Check it out. Guide along. It's available on I iPhone. will always let there us know about places that are coming up before we get there. So we have a moment to decide if it's something we think we might like to stop for. Just so you know, there is no T-Mobile cell service in the park. I don't know about any of the other providers, but T-Mobile, there is nothing. Not that that's a big deal. I mean, that's not why we're here. But I did catch myself a couple of times yesterday reaching for my phone to do some research on a place that we were going to or, or we were at, and uh, couldn't do it. There may be cell service here somewhere. I saw people chatting with people on their phones at at uh, Old Faithful yesterday, so I don't know if they were tapped into the, the hotel's Wi-Fi somehow or, or what, but so there may be other providers that are, that, are, that are available here. 
I have not seen any cell towers, so maybe not. Water. Take plenty of water with you. But there are refill stations. Yeah, I think the parks have gotten better at Much providing better. water in different places. Uh, they might be a little hard to find, but they're out there usually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we always pack a, a filter with us. So even if we need, to, you know, in an emergency situation, I can go to a, a stream and, and fill up our bottles with fresh water. Before the National Park Service was created, Yellowstone National Park was managed by the U.S. Army from 1886 to 1918. These are the buildings where the troops lived. They are now used as the park's headquarters. They're there for a reason. This isn't Disneyland. There's some serious situations here. Stay on the paths. Stay on the paths, yes. <laughs> I mean, you'll see a lot of situations where people have gone off the trail. It makes me crazy. And it, it just destroys the, the local environment in that area. I mean, just stay on the trails. You Simple. hear stories all the time, like here in Yellowstone, how people want to touch the water. I mean, really? You gonna go put your hand in the geyser? Well, yeah, it's especially important in this part because oh you, you, if you go up the trail, you're really, really putting your life in jeopardy. It is. It's a matter of life or death. Stay it looks like solid path. ground, but it could be just this very thin crust over a boiling pool of water. So you don't want to take those risks, and it just makes the whole park look a lot better if people just would stay on the trails. Yeah. And watch those trails too, even if you're an aggressive hiker. I mean, there's stories all the time about people falling off. It just, it, there's, it is, it's life or death. It happens all the time. Nice. And also speed limit. Follow the road speed limit. They know the danger areas. It drops down to 15, 20 miles an hour for a reason. Yeah. All too often we see people going like 40 and 15. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. hard yeah. to comprehend. There's no rush for anything here. Just take your time. It would make everything better. I mean, we've seen people go off the road because we they're have. just going we way have. too yes. far for the conditions. Yes. I mean, there's a lot to look at, and the faster you drive, the harder it is to stay focused on the road. Mm -hmm. so. This is our 20th National Park. We have thoroughly enjoyed the National Park system, but we have respect for it. Yes. There's a lot of dangers out there. Yeah. Things you don't forget. Don't you throw that at me. <laughs> Enjoy the park systems, but leave only footprints and take only photos. Or any trash you might see on the ground. Oh, right. We're take constantly the trash. picking stuff up off the ground. It's it doesn't even need to be heavy. We just take one of those little yeah. grocery bags. We used to take a little, uh, you know, poop bags. <laughs> Fill that up and it helps. Yeah. 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 We, I mean, it, it's usually bottle caps. I see a oh lot of bottle caps on the ground. I pick yeah. them up. I saw a pull tab the other day. <laughs> I didn't even know they had those anymore. They don't. They, it, oh, this is probably from the 70s or the 80s. And it's been on the ground all that time. I picked it up. We hope you enjoyed our visit to Yellowstone National Park, and we hope you found our tips useful. Please join us next time when we visit Glacier National Park. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our little channel. Until next time, safe travels.